Did 9.618 volt lithium ion NICAD charger didn't charge. In fact, the lights didn't come on whenever I plugged it in. I took it apart. There are four screws to remove. They're a pain. I hate these security screws. But a little Harbor Freight toolkit later, and it was out. I've already removed the circuit board. This is what's on the inside. Here's where the battery plugs in and charges. Checked the fuse, it was fine. There's actually another fuse over here. I checked it, it was fine. Checked the capacitors and this, I believe a MOSFET, looks like it's source gate drain. It says Q1, eh, I don't know if it's source gate drain. Doesn't matter, that's not what the problem was for me. For me, the problem was a connection on this transformer, actually more particularly on the circuit board. There, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different poles on this side of the transformer. And this one, you can't see it because I've fixed it already, but the um, circuit trace had lifted on this one. And it you couldn't hardly see it. It looked like a cold solder joint. But I took my soldering iron, pulled it off. Sure enough, the whole trace came off. It was Well, not the whole trace. It's where it was cut at the edge. And I just put some copper wire in there, some heavy gauge copper wire, and soldered it and made the connection and turn it, uh, put it all back well. I haven't put it all back together yet, but I turned it on and the power light here, this green light, came on and it worked fine again. So I don't know how that happened. I uh, use this on construction sites, but that fixed it for me. So it's this little connector here. It's probably a common problem. And if yours is broken and not doing anything, that was the symptom. Just plug it in, no lights came on, nothing. Uh, by the way, another thing I checked, this is the... Uh, diode bridge, bridge right here, but I checked the voltages with it on. I was careful, of course, but you can see that you should have AC voltage across here. Sure enough, I had line voltage there and then DC voltage across the outer two terminals. So I knew I was getting power on the primary side, which is, I guess, this side of the transformer and all the circuitry. Uh, but on the secondary side, I guess I wasn't getting what I needed, and now I am, and it works fine. Hope this helps somebody.